The Burj Khalifa is the highest structure in the world at over 828 meters. It is twice as tall as New York City's Empire State Building and three times higher than the Eiffel Tower. Additionally, it is the tallest freestanding building in the entire planet. The CN Tower, which we saw while in transit through Toronto, had previously held the record for this. The Burj Khalifa is the building with the most floors in the world, having 160 in total. You'll be happy to discover that the Burj Khalifa has the highest residential apartment, which is 385 meters high, if you enjoy heights. What about dining al fresco? On level 122 of the Burj Khalifa is the world's tallest restaurant, Atmosphere, where diners may enjoy their meals while admiring the city skyline from a height of 441 meters. Of course, the menu is stocked with expensive foods like Wagyu beef, oysters, and caviar. You wouldn't want to use the steps to ascend all the way, fortunately, the Burj Khalifa also houses the tallest elevator in the world, capable of ascending 504 meters at once and moving at 60 kilometers per hour. Let's go on to the real reason you should go to the Burj Khalifa, which is the 148th level outdoor viewing deck with a 555 meter view of Dubai. It's not surprising that the Burj Khalifa was the scene of several world records being broken as it's a record-breaking structure. Let's start with the tallest building climb, which was accomplished by Alain Robert, aka French Spider-Man, on the Dubai Giant Tower. He reached the pinnacle in just over six hours and did so without any help. What about the tallest skyscraper base jump? Only the world's highest structure could host such an event. Fred Fugan and Vince Reffitt, two French jumpers, executed it on April 21, 2014. They leaped from Burj Khalifa's highest point, the pinnacle, at 828 meters. Beginning in 2004, construction continued until 2010. During the busiest period, more than 12,000 construction workers, mostly from South Asia, toiled on the site. Surprisingly, there were remarkably few fatalities, some stories list just one death, while others list four. The number may actually be much higher, though, given the appalling working conditions that many laborers endured and the resulting long-term health issues. 330,000 cubic meters of concrete, or the weight of 100,000 elephants, were used in the construction process. The Burj Khalifa was constructed out of aluminum, which weights as much as five Airbus A380 jets. Rebar, reinforced steel bars, were used in such large quantities during construction that if they were all lined up side by side, they would extend one-fourth of the way around the world. The Burj Khalifa's facade is coated in 26,000 hand-cut glass panels that were all individually fabricated. Sustainability was a top priority during construction, solar panels were placed to heat up to 140,000 liters of water per day, and the outer cladding has been silver-coated to boost insulation. Condensation from the air conditioner is used to water the gardens. The Burj Khalifa's design was influenced by both traditional Islamic architecture and the spider lily, a desert flower grown all throughout the United Arab Emirates. You may see the resemblance if you gaze down at the skyscraper. The second Armani Hotel in the world, after the one in Milan, is housed within the structure. Giorgio wanted guests to enter the hotel and feel like they were entering his home, thus there is no reception area. The building is filled with works of art that were expressly commissioned, which will please art aficionados. Two examples include the installation, World Voices, in the residence lobby and the sculpture by Egyptian-born artist Karim Rashid, which is composed of moving oval shapes and is located in the corporate entrance. The latter piece, created by Catalan artist Jaume Plensa, has suspended symbols that make noise when water drops strike them. In the movie Mission Impossible, Ghost Protocol, Tom Cruise scaled the Burj. Burj Dubai was the intended name of the structure, but Sheikh Khalifa, the ruler of Dubai, was honored by having the name changed to Burj Khalifa. The enormous Dubai fountain, which is about the size of two football fields, surrounds the Burj. On the Dubai fountain, you may ride on authentic Abra boats.
The Bellagio Hotel Lakes Fountains at the Bellagio Hotel in Las Vegas were designed by the same company as its well-known music and light display. The largest dancing fountain system in the world is the Dubai Fountain. The temperature is about 15 degrees Celsius lower at the top of the Burj Khalifa than it is at ground level. The windows must be thoroughly cleaned over the course of three months. When you're done, it's time to start over. On clear days, you can see the Burj Khalifa's tip from up to 95 kilometers away. The Burj Khalifa launched around 10,000 pyrotechnics to mark its opening in 2010. The Burj Khalifa is likely to soon lose its distinction as the tallest structure in the world. The Kingdom Tower in Jeddah will debut in 2021 and reach a height of more than 1,000 meters. Thanks for watching. View more our channel videos.